Hello everyone, let's embark on a curious expedition, shall we? Curious Expedition is a really fun roguelike slash RPG slash strategy game in which you choose a character, one of the famous characters of the late 19th century, and venture to places never seen before. It's kind of hard to explain how things work, so let's just uh, dive in the game and I'll try to show you the game and explain everything as we go. So, here are all the playable characters in the game as of today. You can see that some are still locked, I unlocked most of them though, so I don't really mind. It states what you need to do to get these characters and I haven't really been able to do that until now. So let's choose from the ones we have unlocked. Here is for example Charles Darwin, English naturalist and geologist best known for his contribution to evolutionary theory. He's a butterfly enthusiast. He gains sanity each time a butterfly is collected. He is accompanied by a Scottish soldier, a Persian translator, he has a donkey, four charcoal rations, three torches, a butterfly net, a shotgun, and a machete. Now we are not gonna play Charles Darwin. We are going to play as this guy, Richard Francis Burton. He's my probably favorite character. I played many of these, but I kind of like his startup, uh, you can mold the character in any way you want after you dive in the game, but this guy starts uh, the best for me. So we're gonna play with him right now. Richard Francis Burton he is a heroic adventurer with excellent knowledge of languages and cultures. He's a polyglot, which means that uh, he is allowed to rest in native villages and improves communication with indigenous people. He's accompanied by a British soldier, a native scout, he has two rations of whiskey, three torches, ten ropes, and a shovel times five. So let's continue, we are going to play as him, and this is the London club, or whatever you want to call it. Here is some guy, I have no idea who he's supposed to be, but he's telling us. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our most famous member? Word is that you have a big chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. So we are going to run against Amelia Erdhardt, Alistair Crowley, Mary Curie, and Charles Darwin. Oh, he's going to beat us. <laughs> now go explore. Adventure awaits. So here's the map. Uh, Charles Darwin is going to Old Grasslands. Uh, Mary Curie is going to Yolumpani Grassland. Crowley is going to the Rich Grasslands. And... Erhard is going to the Curious Grasslands, and we got the Forgotten Grasslands in the land of Indonesia and alike. A well-balanced region consisting mostly of white grasslands. So let's go. Now this is our ship. Here is Tafo, our native scout, Captain Vili Ure, and here is us. Full of anticipation, I boarded the ship. The crew had preparations left to do, so I spent my time on the deck enjoying the cool breeze. A missionary approached me this morning. He had decided to leave England and requested to take him to a nearby native village in order to spread the word of God. We can refuse him, but I'm gonna accept and escort him. Uh, he's gonna join us. Here he is, Brother John. We're gonna get a mission like this uh, at the very start of every expedition. I accept it, since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. At least our ship was prepared to head for distant shores. So let's set sail. We cannot buy resources or anything before expedition number one, but that will change before expedition number two, if we are to see it. Now the missioner has marked the location of the village he wanted to visit on our map. So yes, here's the village. But here is an elephant graveyard. Uh, this is the map. You can see uh, that we have two region, regions, not regions, two regions in this expedition, the left one and the right one. Um, this is a hex-based map. You cannot cross the mountains, but each of these towns have a different, um, say, traverse cost. So, for example, if we were to go like this, it would cost us seven, but if we wanted to cross 
cross the jungle, it would cost us 13 only. So it's kind of important to map your uh, movement accordingly. Now, this thing up here is very important. This is our sanity. The mental state of your track members drop to zero and more and more catastrophic events will begin to occur. This is where cannibalism and paranoia murders and stuff like that come from. So we have to really pay attention to this and keep it as high as possible. Now, let's search our characters again. Richard Francis Burton, Adventure Level 1. Uh, the dice is I'm going to explain, uh, this is a combat mechanism which you will see when we get into battle. Uh, this is our health points, our capacity, you can see that we have three, six, seven slots here. Uh, two of those are coming from Richard Burton. He has a polyglot which allows us to rest in native villages and he has a mission to escort the missionary. This is our captain, William Urry, he's a British soldier. Every track needs at least one person in the front line, and this is your man. He finds great satisfaction in combat, which is great. Every time we get into combat and win, that is the important part, uh, we regain sanity from fighting, which is why I like Richard. Uh, I tend to hunt a lot and, you know, kill animals, which is great because that's uh, a source of sanity for me. We got Tafo, which is native scout, level 1. No one is better in scouting unknown regions. He has toughness of 2, capacity of 2. He gives us additional information among our region and he increases viewing distance, which is important as well. So this is an ideal start for me. Here's Brother John, our missionary. Uh, we won't really have him for long. He's the spiritual and moral backbone of the trek. Allows to rest for free in missions and increase maximum sanity points. I kind of like him. I would like to keep him, but... You know, I like to finish these missions. Uh, maybe we don't have to let him go. I never really kept him. So you know what? Let's let's keep him. Let's keep Brother John. I kind of like him. Let's keep him with us. So now we're gonna go and check the graveyard. This bleak and foreboding place was situated in the middle of a swamp, littered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason. The creatures of many generations had come to die here. Let's search the area. And we found two elephant tusks. Awesome. Here are our days. Uh, I forgot to mention that the longer we stay on our expedition, the worse we will look. So it's important to find a, a balance between how long you will stay here, how many things you will collect, uh, we will try to collect things like elephant tusk, or golden statuettes, some um, you know uh, native portraits. You can collect a lot of stuff and bring it back to London. For each of these things, you can get uh, money or fame, and we will do that. But we have to do it as fast as possible, otherwise we will get penalties. So keep an eye on our um, you know days, <laughs> on the time that we spend on our expedition. Uh, let's continue to check here. There's something interesting here. We analyzed the region, which gave us a regional point, which we can use to promote one of our um, characters. I'm going to promote Captain Violet Uri. It's going to give him some hit points, and we will gain more sanity from combat. Now, what is this? A stone statue. Examine the strange more than three meter high rock sculpture. The ghastly vi visage seemed to stare at us. It was a disconcerting sight and I desired to move on. We saw some items by the statue. They must have been put there by the natives of this region, presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Let's uh, examine it and loot it. Oh yes, we gained some mangoes and coca leaves. Now, mangoes are good, they will spoil in time, but we can eat them to regain some sanity. So that is good. And as we kind of explored everything here, I'm gonna go this way. Now I can see that we got some things like the ropes, and if we try to traverse places like these swamps, we can use the rope to uh, have it cost us less time. So before each expedition, we can take things like torches, uh, shovels, machetes, and stuff like that to be able to move on the map uh, expediently. You heard the noise, which meant that we lost one of the ropes, and we can now go this way. Let's see what we're gonna have here. 
Uh, the mangoes have gone bad. They they will spoil pretty fast, so it's kind of important to use them as fast as possible, which I didn't. It was kind of a mistake. Now we found the village. Uh, we are supposed to deliver the missionary there, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, let's uh, see if we can trade with the natives. Oh, they got some drums. They're very valuable, but I don't think we have enough things to get them. Actually, we do. So let's get the drums. And let's rest in the village. Brother John approached me hesitantly. He had fallen in love with the elder chief's son. He begged me to smuggle his lover out of the village this very night. Huh. Brother John. Elder chief's son. Brother John, what are you doing? Uh, now nah, let's refuse. Brother John will be paced, but we will deal with it. Let's try to recruit someone though. Or we could recruit another scout. It's interesting. Hmm. Our standing with the natives is not good. We did something to piss them off. So let's uh, take the second scout. Uh, it's kind of a mistake to have two scouts, but whatever. Let's just have them and we will leave. I kept Brother John and now we have Fadish, uh, which is our scout. He's a local. He might refuse to go with us back to London. We will see. Hopefully he will, but maybe he won't. Who knows? Okay, so far our expedition is not uh, progressing well. I don't think there's uh, that many things here. Uh, we could take a rest at this waterfall, but I'm not gonna do it. Let's uh, go this way. If there's something that we could kill here, that would give us some nice uh, things. Okay, you can see that we are uh, finding some butterflies. These will increase our fame as well. So uh, it's good that we found so many. You can get a trade that will make you regain sanity every time you get a butterfly. Now here's a tanker. I'm kind of scared to attack the tanker. We have a lot of things. We could try to kill the tiger. We would gain some Ravenite loot from that, but he could pretty well kill us. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Let's uh, let's rest at this um, waterfall here. Oh no! Oh no! The tiger attacked us anyway. Fuck. <laughs> well, there goes combat. So each of these characters give us some dice that we can use uh, to attack the Tiger. I'm just gonna hope that we will be able to kill him fast enough. You can reroll them several times to see if uh, things go well. I'm gonna try to headbutt the Tiger. Headbutt him again. Let's reroll these dice again. Okay, this is good. We will get a riposte which will give us a bit of shield against uh, the Tiger's attack. But the Kai... Oh, God. Yeah, one of... Tafo is dead. So now we get the less... Uh, less dice. Wait, could I... Could have had one him. Now we just need to get... This dice rerolled. Yes, okay. So we killed the Tiger. But one of our uh, members is gravely injured. We got some animal tooth, some meat, and a tiger skin. That's pretty bad if you want my opinion, uh, because this guy, who, Tafo, could die if his wound gets infected. Now, this golden pyramid, I haven't spoken about it yet, is the place where we can end our adventure. We haven't really gotten that many things though. But now Tafo is injured and he could die. And I would like to, you know, have him. Mm, you know what, let's, uh, let's rest here and we will see if we can get uh, some things. 
at some events and we just got one and decided it would be a good idea to stay here and allow everyone to rest. It was pitch black night as we sat and stared into the campfire. Unexpected visitors arrived. We were approached by natives dressed in jaguar pelts. Francis, uh, Richard Francis Burton was able to understand their language and introduced us. Their faces brightened as he talked to them. Invite them to the camp. We invited them to join us. Uh, we could trade with them. Do they have some something? We could give them the meat because it's useless to us. You cannot bring it back to London. And let's take some mangoes from them. I'll give them some ropes and a fire, uh, a torch for it. You know what? Let's get more mangoes and give them some whiskey. I'm gonna give them the whiskey. Keep the torch. Okay, so like this. We'll give them two bottles of whiskey, a rope, and some raw meat, and they will give us five mangoes. Okay, now we're resting here. And let's see. Okay, let's leave. We still have no idea if his wound is gonna get infected. It's, if it's gonna, I'm gonna immediately go and head to the pyramid. I'm gonna go here, eat the rest of the mangoes, and see if we can get some more items here. Okay, we got region analyzed again. I'm gonna promote Captain Violet Ur again, and you can see that we got a second dice from him. So in every combat, he will now uh, give us more. And we can now examine this shrine which we found, we stood before a temple comprised of huge stones. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Low hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. Somebody had drawn a circle of blood around the whole structure and planted spears into the ground as a warning for anybody who dared to enter here. Let's enter anyway. <laughs> uh, before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. If this place uh, if this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. An altar flooded by light throned in the center. Let's investigate. Oh nice, a golden vase. Let's take it. What a glorious day. We took that artifact from the altar. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as the whole area started to collapse behind us. We would have to run for our lives to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm that was beginning to form. Okay. This is not good, but we got the boss, so now let's get to um, the pyramid and end our first journey. The majestic golden pyramid rose above its environment, overcoming all obstacles we had yet survived. Let's enter the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would be forever remembered. I congratulated Fadish, but instead of joy I saw sadness in his eyes. He felt like he could never leave these lands. Oh yeah, we lost uh, the scout, the second one. He, star he stated that he would not follow me to the civilized world. So yeah, let's finish expedition. And this is our current thing, we start with 10. We found the golden pyramid, so we gained 100 from that. We identified 5 butterflies, so we gained 25 from that. And we were on our expedition 57 days, so our new fame is 78. Let's finish the expedition. Here we are in London, people are cheering for us. Triumph! Now we can choose a perk for our character for the next uh, travel. We can get a good reputation, start each expedition with a standing bonus with the natives, that is. Eagle Eye increases viewing distance, or a climber reduced move cost when crossing hills. I'm gonna take the climber. And one seems very useful. Now, here are our, yeah, our enemies or, you know, adversaries. Charles Darwin got 166, uh, Mary Curie got 144, Amelia Earhart got 131, and Alistair Crowley got 120. We got only 78. However, don't forget that we got all these things that we carried home from the actual adventure that we were on. Now, for example, this golden vase, we can uh, donate it to the museum or sell it at an auction. We would either get 60 fame or 40 funds. Now, I'm going by a simple rule. If they give me more in the museum, it's going in the museum. Now, for example, these uh, elephant tusks sell very well, so I'm going to sell them in an auction. Now these drums, they would sell good. 
But we got a lot of funds already, 150. Let's uh, let's give them. And we are going to sell this Tiger Pelt for 40 funds. And now we got three animal tooths. Let's uh, gift two of them to the museum and sell one. And voila, here we are, 179. We are first and we got 200 bonds. So that concludes our first uh, mission or our first expedition. And I'll see you in the next one where we are going to depart to Africa. So see me then.